Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is Grovana. Welcome to another Skyrim Hidden Treasures. This is one that has been suggested many, many, many times. The reason I haven't done it up until now is because the main character I use for this series is on the console, and I've already completed it on that guy a long time ago. This guy is my PC character, and I have not completed it with this guy. This is going to be, be Ingvild... I was going to say Barrow, because that's how I always thought it was, but it's just Ingvild, I guess. Um, this is a very, very, very interesting location with a, a uh, unique helmet at the end, and it's located next to Dawnstar if you want to go here yourself. So without any further ado, let's head inside and see what this place has to offer. It's pretty cool. Okay, so as we start off here, you'll notice it's an ice cave. Of course, we are in the tundra section of Skyrim. What else would it be? We're going to head inside and hopefully something interesting will happen pretty soon. i got to get used to the sensitivity because this is on the PC. I am using a controller though, but it's just the sensitivity is uh, far greater than what it is on the console. Alright, so so far so good. Nothing really of interest yet, but I promise you there will be. I see something down there. It might be a potion or something. Or it might just be a light. What is it? It is a potion of ultimate healing, which we will take... Uh, this guy is also significantly more leveled than he used to be. I believe I'm, what, level 60... 71 now. Yes, and it's all completely j legit. I didn't, uh, you know, enhance my skills with the console. That's a lie. I did. Alright, so we got a couple of Draugr people up here. Uh, you'll also notice I'm using a Daedric bow with Daedric arrows. Let's take care of this guy really quickly. Draugr Death Lord, and one more arrow should do the trick. And what do we have here? Draugr White. Alright. Let's go for a headshot. And there we go. Hasta la vista. So as you, can, guys, as you guys can see, it's a very, very unique location. We have two Draugr. Look at that. That's sarcasm. It's not unique yet, but we'll get to it. Alright. I don't even know why I'm looting this stuff. It does not matter. Continuing on. Okay, so now we have... A uh, split up here. We can go right or we can go left. Uh, I'm thinking we might want to go left for the time being. Let's see where this path takes us. Alright, so we have a ghost. That's always a good sign. We have another Draugr over there. Let's take care of the Draugr first. Because I'm not sure if this ghost is going to aggro or not. No, you don't. Alright, what are you called? Ingvild Ghost. And you're an Ingvild Ghost as well. You'll notice that both of these ghosts are women. What was that? You see? Uh-oh. Yeah, go over there. Something happened over there. There we go. Okay. And right here we have Arendil's Journal, Part 1. How long is it? Not long at all. Day 1. It seems the Cretans of Dawnstar are not quite as... Not are not quite a foolish as I had surmised. Okay, so that's a typo. They found my experimentations and needless to say were not pleased with what they saw. No matter. My work can only flourish without the distractions of living amongst the unenlightened. I have found a cave off the north coast of Skyrim that will be more than sufficient for my continued studies. The ruins of Ingvild should hold the materials I need to learn more about reanimating and enslaving the dead. On a personal note, I will miss the young maidens of Dawnstar. Such beauty was intoxication. I often found my thoughts wandering around them, imagining secret encounters between myself and one or two of the local girls. Wow! So, uh, you should be noticing a couple things first. This guy is like a necromancer. He wants to reanimate the dead, and he also has a fondness for girls in um, Dawnstar. You'll notice that all the ghosts so far are girls. Hopefully you can make the connection there. Okay. We're done here for now. Let's continue this way. And so search the gold ghostly remains okay um uh, let's see what we can find in here it looks like the only thing of note really was that journal i'm guessing we want to uh i'm wearing heavy armor why am i sneaking i'm in i'm in the mindset of the other guy so let's go this way now we have another draugr up there we have a passage to the right let's take care of this draugr scorch oh yeah i have the paralyzing arrow effect from the archery tree. I was wondering what happened there. Wow, that paralyzing effect lasts forever, doesn't it? Well, sorry, buddy. That's a terrible fate. <laughs> okay, we have another woman ghost back here. And I think they're all the same model, too. I think they're all, like, your typical Nord female. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's see. To the right. Let's go to the right. Um, anything in this particular section other than this Draugr with 13 gold? No, I'm not sure what the point is. Actually, might want to look up because I bet there's like a thing leading down. No? Okay, well, I'm not sure what the point of this was, but 
let's head back to the main section here. So I think it said... Uh, did it pop up as a miscellaneous quest? I think it did, where we need to find four of the journals. We already found one, so we have three more sections of the journals to find. Why am I not doing like any damage with this bow? It's kind of weird. My bow's fully upgraded with the damage perks and everything. And this is a Daedric bow with Daedric arrows. You'd think I'd be doing more damage. I don't know. Anyways, let's see. Nothing in here either. Wow, a whole lot of nothing so far. But it'll all be worth it, I promise. Alright, so let's continue. Okay, that takes care of that Draugr Deathlord. Now it looks like we can run and jump over there and continue upwards, or we can go downwards. Let's go downwards, I think. I see a chest there. This probably only leads to the chest, though. We also have another Draugr Deathlord here. Wow. I was going to say nice shot, but it actually was a nice shot. Okay, wow. It's kind of funny how I have to speed up the video whenever I fight a Draugr Deathlord just because they take so much damage. Okay, let's open this chest here. And it's just 22 gold. That's a big deal, isn't it? Alright, so I see another journal entry over there. Hopefully it'll be part two. I think actually it, it spawns it as part two. Or, I don't know, it might be part two regardless, I think. That's how they did it. Yeah, see, it is part two, and I think the next one will be part three no matter which one you find. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Okay. Day 8. I have established a temporary workstation in the cold caves and have found multiple burial chambers within the snow and ice. While in the first chamber I exhumed a few test subjects, all female. I was stunned to find my mind wandering again to the women of Dawnstar as I examined my find. At first I was slightly disturbed by my thoughts, but later I found myself reevaluating. So we got a grade A pervert here. The first trials went splendidly. Each subject was reanimated in a state of total complacency, bending to my every task and whim. Jesus. I have ordered a few of my new servants to guard the island while the rest will act as my personal entourage standing by me at all times standing watch over me while I sleep okay so you're probably getting a feel for this guy now all right so we could have gone upwards but that might have not led to anything I think we'll just continue to uh, go forward here sorry pretty ghost woman but I have to take you out because wow son of a bitch these death lords man and their fustro does um, anyways I have to take you out because you're going to kill me so goodbye and where are you death lord there you are Okay, that guy only took like a hundred thousand arrows or eight. Um, let's see. Both of our quest markers are over there. You know, I think we might just like follow the quest markers because honestly, I don't think anything is in this place. Yeah. All right. So we'll just keep continuing forward. Uh, our ultimate goal really is trying to get to the end because that's where the cool stuff is. We will take that. We will read part three of the journal. How long is it? Still not that long. Day 21, an intriguing development. Tonight my guards have brought me a trespasser they found near the cave. At first I was understandably upset. Not only was I disturbed during one of my few moments alone with my favorite servant, oh god, but I recognized the trespasser as a milkmaid from Dawnstar. She remembered me as well and made bold claims that I had been lurking near her at all hours. What lies? True, I had taken notice of her on occasion, but she was nowhere near the most noticeable of maidens in town. Her continued accusations coupled with my fear of more uninvited guests led me to conclude that she could never return to Dawnstar. Oh, geez. My servants were quick to carry out my sentencing. Her body is here next to me as I write this funny. Her eyes are still so full of life. Oh, my God. This is so dark for Skyrim. Like, nothing even compares to this. Perhaps I will try a new experiment tonight using fresher materials. My God, man. I mean, this isn't that big of a deal for video games, but for Skyrim, like, everything's usually so happy-go-lucky. Funny, considering there's stuff that wants to kill us at every corner, but you know what I mean, hopefully. Okay, so we're now in the throne room. That should give you some idea as to what's next. Uh, what is that noise where it's like a giant clock ticking or something? It's not the clear noise. I never really understood what it was. Maybe I guess it's just entering the throne room. Alright, so this looks like it's where we want to be. There's a dude sitting on the throne. Guessing that is Arondil or whatever his name is. We have also a woman to his left. That's probably his favorite servant. Um, thinking he's going to aggro us as soon as we come into view, right? Yes, indeed he will. Alright. Let's take of Arondil first. Uh, I have a lot of health, so really I can just tank this stuff. Even though I do think this is on like a depth difficulty, but I do have a ton of health. Alright, goodbye. And we also have Ingvild Ghost. Not uniquely named, but I'm assuming this is supposed to be the one that he was most interested in or whatever. It's funny to see how a ghost can also be paralyzed, even though they don't have like a central nervous system, so I'm not sure how that works. Regardless, Arundel has his key, and not much else. Uh, we also have 
reality and other falsehoods, which is some sort of skill book, not sure what it is. Oh, I guess that's illusion or alteration or whatever it is. Not big into magic. Okay, we have like a little passage over to the left here I think we'll check out before we exit this dungeon. Alright, what do we have over here? A body. I think that might be the body he was referencing. And we also have a lever, which does what? Opens this gate. And inside here we have a Nord. Oh, so these are all these are just all the, the maidens that he has reanimated. Terrible, terrible fate. Oh well. What do we have over here? Master Iron Door. Um, that might lead to the exit. I think we want to go over here first, especially because that was just the clear noise. Okay, so I think I'm actually getting this place confused with a different location with a whole bunch of glowy, bouncy balls. I'm not sure what that location is. Greater Soul Gem. But, uh, that's what I thought this one was going to be. I don't even know if I've ever done this one. It is familiar. Wow, what do we have here? Ingvild Ghost. Okay, so, <laughs> he was sleeping with this one, I guess. Never should have come here. Let's put her to rest. Goodbye. Alright, and the final journal is here as well as a stone of Berenzia. Or Baron, Baron Zaya, I guess. Um, let's read his final entry. Day 28. The new experiment has proven a success. The milkmaid, whose name still escapes me, was revived as the others bowing to my commands with only one interesting development. She has reformed incorporeally, or whatever that word, however that word is pronounced, more phantasm than reanimated dead. As her glowing visage stood before me, I found my hand reaching out to touch her. As my fingers passed through her, I felt a sensation unlike any other. Oh my god, man. Come on, what is this Fifty Shades of Grey Skyrim version? As if her essence were invigorating my very soul, connecting with me on a level no woman of flesh and blood could do. This discovery is life-changing. Day 35, I've ordered my older servants to go out and find any more subjects that may have been, become lost. With the discovery of the inner sanctum deeper still within Ingvild, I should have sufficient room to store many new materials until I can transform them into willing slaves. I look back on my daydreams while living in Dawnstair and wonder if they were in fact portents of times to come. Okay, return return to Veckel. I'm not sure who that is. I guess we got a quest from somebody in Dawnstar, probably. We have a master level chest here with not much in it, as well as Grand Staff of Charming. Don't think that's unique. I know there are Staffs of Charming, but we'll take it anyways. Ghostly Remains has nothing. Um, so that might be the end here. What dungeon am I thinking of with the... There, you, like, you enter... It's another Tundra-style dungeon where you enter and... There's like little bouncing balls of light or something that lead you somewhere. I'm forgetting what that is. That might be quest related. That's probably what it is. And you get like a helmet. Okay, so this is Ingvild. I'm thinking I'm thinking of Ingvald or something. Or Ingvol. I'm not. I don't know what I'm talking about. Regardless, I'm sure somebody does and will tell me in the comments. Okay, so this leads us to another chest. Let's uh, not even bother with that, honestly. It's not going to give us anything that we want. Hidden rock door. Should have seen it coming. It probably leads to that little alcove that I was wondering what the point of it was. Does it? Uh, yeah. It leads to one of them, I guess. Okay. So I guess that's it for this location, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't the one that I was thinking of, but it's still a unique location. Uh, if you're still not sure of what was going on, he was reanimating people for his own lust and pervy ideas and stuff. So, kind of a sticky situation. But, um, tsh. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name is Grovana, and I will see you next week. Goodbye. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, help me out by liking it, adding it to your favorites, and sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and follow my social pages as well as my Twitch channel. The links are in the description below. Finally, if you want to subscribe and or watch another video that's probably going to be related to this one, you can click the big ol' annotations on the screen. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.